Joss took out the red bean. A human has it, and he definitely didn't swallow it. Mm-hmm. Gotta open his belly. Bottle caps, fake teeth, a corkscrew. Ah, here it is. Red bean. Well then, one step closer to our goal. What? Now I find myself wondering if you're just horribly discreet, or if those mutations completely scrubbed away your curiosity. Are you really not interested in what happened? In what became of me after they cast me out? Well, since you brought it up, I'd gladly hear the rest. Let's see. They escorted you out of the duchy. Yes. And the noble knights of Toussaint and I didn't stop until we reached the Ketu wilderness. They left me there alone, without a copper, in a torn lace dress, right when the frosts were setting in. They assumed something would eat me, or that I'd do everyone a favor and die of hunger. But as always, I failed to live up to expectations. I wandered the woods for a week, went purple from the cold, gnawed the bark from twigs. Finally, I saw a light among the trees, a campsite. They were bandits, bearded, drunk, spattered with blood. I was sure they'd rape me or kill me, or both. Take it neither happened? That's when I learned a robber and a murderer can be a better man than a knight in shining armor. They took me in, we set off for Nazaire, and I did what I could to repay them. I advanced in their ranks rather quickly. Eventually, I became their leader of the whole ragged band. Should have stayed there, maybe. Perhaps. Perhaps I should have forgotten everything, started a new life. But you know what? There came a point when I thought, you wanted a monster, then a monster you shall get. Been through a lot. I have. And throughout this time, my sister was stomping grapes and shagging minstrels on down bedding. She wasn't the one to banish you. And I'm not angry at her for that. I'm angry at her because she forgot about me. Right. We've had our chat. Come. That's one bean down. Good work. as I see it. Always took what she wanted without asking. No being here. Gotta keep looking. Not to be trusted. 
careful. Always grab off the bridge, past, but you see it anyway. We'll find another way out. Come, watch, they didn't like that. You're huffed and puffed, and look, got a bean. It cannot be. What cannot be? You actually have a sense of humor. <laughs> Why so shocked? Well, when you arrived, all you did was pout and mumble things in that graffily monotone. And now this, a jest. And a good one at that. But here we are chatting away when there's work to do. We must keep looking. Oh, do you like it here? No, got a problem with magic in general. Illusions, portals, all that. Don't trust any of it. A bow of old-fashioned tastes, eh? I like that. Faster. Here, and I'll have to make that jump. If you say so, I shall wait down here if it's all the same. Climbing's not my strong suit. So? Got the bean, but long locks. Mm. Seems she got sick of waiting for a knight in shining armor. Can you blame her? Men these days, dandies and fops all. That why you cozied up to a vampire? Dead laugh was a tool, and only a tool. Too bad he didn't know that. I trust no one. 
Learned that long ago. Now it's his turn. To use him. Was that your plan from the start? No. At first, I was simply intrigued. Do you know the story? It was in Matina, a few years past. I had gone there to pass some loot off to a fence I know. We were hashing out the terms when in walked Deadlove. He said he'd come to sell a silver candlestick. He gripped it through a cloth. That caught my eye. I followed him out, observed him from a distance. But he caught on quickly. Yeah, superhuman senses will do that. He turned down a blind alley. I followed. He jumped out from behind a crate, baring his teeth. I suppose he'd wanted to frighten me. Alas, he didn't in the least. After all, I'm a monster too, am I not? What happened then? We talked, then met up once, twice, three times. Enough that he became infatuated. I truly enjoyed it at first, but only at first. He did not love like a man, but like an animal, madly, deeply, unconditionally, wildly. To return such a feeling, anyone would be hard-pressed, let alone someone as twisted as I am. So there came a day you just up and disappeared? Yes. There was no other way. Let's just be friends, or I don't deserve you. He'd never have understood that sort of thing. But then, once I decided to return, clean up some old affairs, I remembered him and concluded he could still be of use. Playing with fire, that. Definitely. And either I'll get burned or I'll burn all else down. No other options. Got a history with Detlov now. So this meeting will be different. Not afraid? I can handle him. Mm-hmm. Sure about that? You look at him as a witcher and see a monster. I... I know what he's really like. You needn't worry. It's time to go. Just a bit more work and we'll be able to say sort off to this fecking fable sphere. Now we must plant them by the path near Longlock's tower. Then prepare to meet the giant. when I was a lass, but no one bought them, so I branched out. Now I deal in snuffs, puffs, all sorts of fun things. What'll you have, sweeties? Nothing. We just want to get out of here, as fast as we can. Sweet cheeks, two puffs of my stuff, and I guarantee you'll fly out of here as if... Hey, where'd you get that ribbon? That's mine. Is that so? Then why was it lying in the bushes? 
Find his keepers, sweetheart. Give Sienna the ribbon. Why not, huh? Sugar Plum. The only thing I hand out for free is a first hit. To get them to come back for a second, of course. For all else, you've got to pay. What if I asked you nicely? Ask me nicely and I might play you for it. A round of cards? All right, let's play. If you lose, you give me the ribbon. Don't get your hopes up. None can best me at Gwent. Skedaddle. All right. Tell me. What? What you want in return. You're not doing this out of the kindness of your heart. Don't want anything in return. I... Hmm. Thank you. Wait! Why? The stalk will sprout abruptly, very abruptly. We must be careful. All right! Toss them! stretch.
Admire the view later. First, we must deal with... him. thinking you might have done that on purpose. Why ever would I have? To get rid of your guard, your captor. Getting close to the exit at this point. Probably think you don't need me anymore. Well, you're wrong. You still stand to be quite useful to me. That's so? How? Plan to use me like you did Detloff? No, I need you for a purpose far simpler. Well, don't just stand there and stare. I need a man, Geralt, and I'm not afraid to say it. I have no idea what awaits me once we leave this place. Treat it as my last wish.
just gonna go our separate ways. No parting words. Did you wish to tell me something? Actually, that'd probably be best. Oh my. No woman's ever treated you this way. Not that I recall, no. In that case, at last you felt what so many women in this world feel at times. <sighs> I just hope this tale has a happy ending. For me, for you, for everyone. That may very well depend on you. What's that supposed to mean? Nothing beyond what you heard. For now. Come. The exit's this way. Another will of the wisp. Just curious. Why do you want the heart of Toussaint and the ducal wine? They were my right, my Jew. Doubt we would have figured you out if you hadn't tried to get them. Know that, don't you? I do, and I regret nothing. One lives but once. Here, we need but jump into the well. You first. in a fountain. Not terribly practical. It was a secret passage. Anariette and I would use it to... Hide from your governess, which luckily she noted down in her diary, thus I knew where to await you. No, never mind that. Has the young lady agreed to help clean up the mess she's made? She has. And stop treating me as if I were a child. Would you prefer I treated you like the lying manipulator you are? Calm down, both of you. But... No buts. Let's go. I really want to be done with this. 